Hey guys, how's it going? The Selfful Lockpicker here, and welcome back to this week's Locksport update. This is a fun video series that I run every single Saturday, and it serves as a really great place to update the community on anything that I've been working on, and it also serves as a great place for the community to update everyone on what they have been working on. As always, if you have any updates at all that you'd like to see shared next week, please drop those in the comment section below, and I'd really love to try to check them out and share them. In this week's Luxport update, I'm going to try something a little bit different. I have been playing with my OBS software for my live streaming, and I think I've finally figured out a good way to be able to get the audio up, say if I were to play a video directly off of YouTube or off of my screen. So that will improve my workflow and make this a lot easier for me to do because I won't have to download videos every time. So I'm going to play with that today and I apologize if the sound levels aren't perfect. But as you may have read in this week's title, I'm going to be sharing with you this package right here. So this is a 3D printed disk detainer lock that was sent to me all the way from Canada. This disk detainer lock was sent to me from Lethal Logic, and I will bring up Lethal Logic for you in just a second so you can see what they are all about. I'm going to bring them right up right here. So Lethal Logic made this really cool 3D printed disk detainer lock. You can see in a few of her videos her talking about it. And then if you look up 3D printed disk detainer lock, you will see that I've been able to do a few videos on it as well. So this lock came to me all the way from Canada and what I'd like to do is finally be able to open it and share it with you. Unfortunately for me, this has been a really busy time of the year. I have just started school up again and I haven't had a lot of time to make too many extra videos, but I did want to get some type of video up of this so I would be able to share it with everyone. So what I'm going to do is sort of open it up off camera slightly because I haven't really been able to um, cover up all of the information on it, but I will get this opened up and we'll be able to check it out together. So I'm going to bring up our chat box right now and let's see who's been able to stop in. Let's see. All right. Thanks to um, Coxie's Picks, Dana Reed, Starry Lock, Rusty J02, Hakuna Mapapa, Silk the Absent. Thank you, and Daniel Smith. Thank you for everyone for being able to drop in. So I'm just going to start to open this up a little bit off camera, then I will share it with you. All right, so we have it out of the shipping package right here. And have my scissors, and I'm going to do my best to just sort of cut this box open so we can get a really good look inside. So let me just pull this off camera for just a second here, and we'll get this right open. But I thank you to everyone that's able to make it here every weekend and being able to just make this a really fun process. So taking a look right in here, let me get rid of the chat box. We can see what's inside. So let's zoom the camera in just a, a smidge. So right away we're able to see the lock itself, but I want to be very careful with it. All right, so that looks like that's the disc pack. Here are the really cool 3D printed cat keys. Then we have some spare discs and parts in general. And this does look like it's in a padlock format, which is pretty cool. So. This must be an extra core, because this one clearly has a core in there, so that is really nice. And I want to say thank you to Lethal Logic for being able to have me be equipped with some extra parts, because these are a little bit fragile, especially if you're going to try to pick them. And I want to say thank you for being well prepared. So 
what we're going to do, let's just insert the cat key and see what happens. Let's see, maybe it goes in this way, turns over, and it should be retracting some type of sidebar, but as you can tell, I haven't played with this lock yet, and I do fear to break it if I'm not going to be careful with it, so if I don't get this working with the key right away, I will ask Lethal Logic and just be sure. Because I, I really don't want to force this thing over. But regardless, I can see that it's turning quite well. And it seems to be working to some degree. But I want to say thank you to Lethal Logic for being able to send this over to me. And let's see if this little guy right here, if I insert the key, let's see what happens. So either way, this is the 3D printed disk detainer lock. I'm going to figure out some of the troubleshooting on exactly why the when I turn the key over, it's not working. Oh, Lethal Logic, you're on right now. There's two different keys. Use the other one. Okay. Let me try that. Oh, there we are. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so that is working very well, very well, and I want to say thank you for that. So that was pretty, pretty dumb of me, but that was pretty nice that Lethal Logic was able to be on and share that with everyone. So thank you to everyone for checking that out. And what I'd like to do for the rest of this video is going to be um, sharing a few channels. I don't know if anyone has any channels that they would like to share. Um, I would like to bring them up right now, but let's look in the comments section right now. Let's see. Dana Reed said Deadlocks channel. Um, let's see. Awesome. Looks like I'm just in time. Let me write in the comment section here. Thank you at Lethal Logic for recommending I use the correct key LOL. That was pretty silly of me. But that is really fun. Thank you for that. I didn't realize that you had two different keys and that makes complete sense. So let me um just take a quick look up here and then um Let's see what we're able to bring up for some channels. So let's see. So deadlock. All right, does anyone have a link to deadlock's channel? I just want to make sure I bring up the, the correct one. And if anyone wants to drop that in the comment section, I will be able to share that with everyone. I just want to make sure I bring up the right one. I will see if I have that on my master list. Let's see. Nope, that one will need to be added as well. If anyone wants to drop Deadlock's link in, I'd be happy to do that. But what I'd like to do next is going to be, while we get that figured out, I have my random generator pulled up and I will pick a random channel in the meantime and we'll be able to get that shared. So we're going to type in random number generator and we have currently on our list 328 channels so one out of 328 is going to be picking channel number 200 and I'll have this brought up for you right now all right I am not going to know how to say this channel but I'm going to bring this up for you right now so let's get a quick look back at um, this one right here um, let's see, channels, hmm. all right, something's not working here, hold on, let's see, um, what happened, did I exit out of the window? No, let's see. 
Oh, there it is. All right. All right, so there that is. All right, so I'm going to bring up this channel for you right now. Obanji the Brave. And as you can tell, I've been able to get some of the audio to start working when you play the channel, which is pretty cool. So, let's see, Obanji the Brave has 3.78k subscribers. Made a video about 8 hours ago. Looks like they've been pretty consistently making some videos. This is not a channel that I am um, too familiar with, but it is pretty cool being able to get familiar with um, some other channels. So if anyone knows anything about this channel, I would be happy to um, see in the comment section below what they're all about. And if anyone wants to check them out and consider giving them a subscription button, that always helps as well. But let's just click on this video right here so we can just take a quick Attention little look at owners. it. Can we use your home to showcase our next generation metal roofing system? Dobrodošli na kanal Obijanje Brave. Ispred sebe imam bravu španskog proizvođača Tessa, koga je kupila švedska firma Asa Abloj. Tako da sada ovaj brand nosi naziv Tessa Asa Abloj. Zanimljivo je da ova firma daje kupcima izbor da mogu da kupe bravu koja na sebi nema logo. Ako ne žele da na svojim vratima reklamiraju firmu Tessa Asa Abloj. Tek ovaj model koji... Gotovo. A evo još jednom. Da, ne ispadne da je bilo slučajno. Sada još... Alright, so... That was pretty cool. That's pretty cool to share a different channel. And let me go back over to our chat here and see what has been able to pop up while that video was playing. Let's see. Let me get my thing up right here. Then we'll take a quick look and see. Um, Daniel Smith, Deviant Olam. I definitely agree. That is an excellent channel. I can bring him up real quick as well. Um, he's always doing something really interesting. Let me bring up Deviant Olam because I know that that will be a really easy channel for me to find. Um, and I do apologize if I say his name incorrectly. I've never really heard it pronounced too many times. But when So Deviant, he's always growing. He makes videos sort of sporadically, but he's really cool um, learning about security and stuff like that. He has some really, really interesting videos if you go back and look through all the stuff he has done. Not all of his videos are lock-related. Um, you know, some of it's sort of like political sometimes. A lot of it is this security-focused, but it is just a pretty cool channel to check out, and I definitely recommend it. He is a guy that you can follow both here on YouTube, and he also has a pretty strong presence on Twitter as well. But either way, if you'd like to check out Deviant Olam, I will put a link to his channel in the description below, and also you can check him out and consider subscribing to him. So let me bring this back up, and let's see if anyone else has been able to recommend any channels that they'd like to see shared right now. Let's see. Alright. And I thank you for Ken Nixon sharing about Deviant's um, affiliation with Tool. That's nice. Um, John Doe says um, Thumper just hit 500 subscribers, which is a pretty cool milestone. So let's bring up Thumper right now. Let's see. Thumper's lock picking. Let's see. Here's Thumper. Let's see. So about 500 subscribers. Um, about 645 videos. And Thumper's been pretty active recently, and that's pretty cool. He's always making new content. He's always looking to exchange packages and do different things and if you'd like to check out Thumper's channel and help him celebrate this pretty cool milestone and it looks like he's actually doing a giveaway right here um, you can check that out 
again, we can consider subscribing and showing some of our support, but I will bring up a quick clip of Thumper's video right now. Morning, afternoon, or evening, depending where you are in the world. Welcome back to Thumper's Lock Picking. Had to draw that out for a little bit of real drama, so I wanted to make sure you guys got that. <laughs> I've got a challenge lock here from a good buddy, a great friend. Um. He, I believe he sent me this one back. This has got to be one that I sent him. And then he sent it back uh, to get it back into the States. Um, this is Keymaster. Oh, no, this is Keymaster's Bass Fittings. Pardon me. I thought I had somebody. Uh... All right. So thank you guys for checking out Thumper and helping him celebrate his really cool milestone. But I'll take a quick look at the chat right here. And thank you for sharing Thumper. Um, let's see. Yeah, block picking gal, Stephen Olam's written a lot of books. He's just sort of done a lot of everything. He's very well versed and a really cool guy to follow. Um, SE Lock and Key, that's definitely a great channel. Um, I mean, he does his um, live streams on Saturdays below. Um, S.E. Lock and Key, I can bring him up quickly. Um, he's actually a pretty cool guy. Um, he's a locksmith. He's always making pretty fun videos. He likes to do um, just like funny videos too. Well, we can bring him up for you guys right now. So here's S.E. Lock and Key. And this is a little clip of his hey shop. Hey guys, that looks welcome like... to Fondren. Come on in. And let's see, he's very, I'm um, pretty active. This must have been a live stream, let's see, two hours ago. He usually does them on Saturdays, about two hours long. Um, but yeah, so his channel's always growing. He's always doing some pretty cool things. He's about 6,000 subscribers. If you'd like to check him out and show some support, that'd be really cool as well. Um, we'll take another quick look at the chat and see what everyone is recommending that we share. Let's see. Um, but you know what, I think that um, all in all, I think that this was a, a pretty cool little different format to try out this week. I know that it didn't run really too smoothly. I'm sorry for some people that recommended some channels so I wasn't able to get up. It's just you know, so much easier if you just have a, a link to be able to get them up because you don't want to type in the wrong thing and share the wrong person. But I think that I'm going to, you know, continually work on growing this live stream format. I think it's a really fun thing to do. And I want to say thank you to everyone that's been able to help um, share today. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to probably cut it off right about here. But I just want to say thank you to everyone that's always able to help share all of their great updates and just keep this growing. I am just so thankful to be a part of this community and being able to watch everyone grow and just seeing Locksport grow as a whole. But either way guys, this is all that I have for you today. If you have any questions or suggestions, please drop those right in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking this out, and I hope you'll have a great day. And thank you again to Lethal Logic for sharing this really cool 3D printed um, Dissertator Lock. I look forward to playing with it more. I hope everyone has a great rest of their weekend, and I'll see you in the next video.